So, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do today is basically going to apply um, sh learning how to solve a system of equations by elimination. Now, in this case, the reason why we're going to use elimination is, remember last class we talked about substitution. And when we did substitution, we had a variable that had a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, right? Well, in all three of my examples, in this case, I don't have that anymore. So the preferred method, at least in my opinion, would be to go ahead and use elimination. You could still use substitution, but I would recommend using elimination. And basically, all elimination is going to do is um, I am just going to basically call this the uh, elimination by addition. Yes, you can add and subtract the equations. But in my recommendation, it is, it is easier to add them when you, um, to get them done. So first thing you're going to do for elimination, and I'll write this down for next class period. I don't have time this class period to write down the process. So we'll go over that again next class period because we will practice a little bit more. But basically, ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to do is you're going to look for the variable that has the exact same coefficients, plus or minus. So do you guys see a variable that has, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Step number one is to make sure that your variables are aligned. So do you guys see how the w's are over the w's and the y's are over the y's? Yes? Just in case, you might have problems where like variables are flip-flopped. So you're going to want to rewrite the equations so they are aligned. Okay. Step number two is identify the variable that has the same coefficient, plus or minus, or both positive or both negative. So what is my variable that has the exact same coefficient? Yeah, the y. y has a coefficient of 5, and y has a coefficient of negative 5. So since they have the same coefficient, one positive, one negative, all I'm simply going to do is add the two equations. Right? And you're just going to add them vertically. 2y, or 2w plus 3w is 5w. 5y plus negative 5y is 0y, which is just 0, equals negative 24 plus 14 is 10. Now, by adding the two equations, the whole purpose of eliminations is to add the equation so you eliminate a variable. Do you guys see how this variable has now been eliminated? Because the coefficient's added to 0, which multiplied by the variable on your calculator goes to 0, so then you can solve. So now, just divide by 5, divide by 5, w equals 2. OK, now negative. negative 2, thank you. Now, remember, the system of equations has a solution point, right, where they intersect. So we have an x and a y coordinate. Basically, there's two solutions. And whenever you have two variables or two equations, you're going to have two solutions, or at least to look for. Um, so now, la in substitution, it was, it, it was nice because once we solved the variable for an equation, we could just plug in our solution into there and then practice it and plug it in. In this case, though we have w equals negative 2, we still need to figure out what y is. So we need to plug in the value of um, negative 2 into one of these equations. You want to choose the top. You want to choose the bottom. It doesn't matter which equation you plug it into. So just choose an equation. And then plug in the value of w for that equation. So I'm going to choose the top equation. Doesn't matter. Does everybody see what I did? I rewrote the top equation. And then I plugged in w, the value of w, into that equation. Now 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5y equals negative 24. Add 4, add 4. I have 5y equals negative 20. Divide by 5, divide by 5, y equals negative 4. Yes? Oh! I just didn't show it, did I? Sorry. Does that make sense? Any other questions? 